we were lending. I was playing cards. We were lending in Pittsburgh. And uh, I don't, I mean, we, we weren't just about to touch the ground. We were still in the air. Like I, I want to say, I don't know, a thousand, 500 feet, maybe 500 feet. And my phone rang, which never happens. You know, I know every now and then like your phone, like uh, before you, um, you're about to land, it starts like, you know, buzzing because the texts are coming in. Well, my phone actually rang and it was my dad. And I'm like, why is he calling me? He knows I'm traveling. So I picked up and he couldn't really talk. He just told me my mom, my mom had passed. And I'm like, I'm like, all right. And well, uh, I'm like, why? And I couldn't really hear him. Like, so let me call you back. I'm landing. So I hung up the phone and now I'm standing up and we're about to land. But I'm not, it doesn't hit me yet. Then I go see uh, Rammer, uh, Jim Ramsey, our, our medical guy. And, and once I told him, I said, Rammer, my mom just died. When I said those words, I lost it and I couldn't stop crying. Now I, nobody knows why I'm crying. You know, mm -hmm. it was really, so, you know, the plane lands and everybody, everybody finds out, you know, the Rangers were awesome. Like they, everybody got off the plane. We flew back and then uh, they got my family. We went out of Teterboro, got a, got a private plane to Montreal and I could, I could see my, um, I saw my mom before they took her away. I got there on time. They were holding her and, you know, said my piece and uh, went home, talked to my dad. And, you know, it was like probably like 2 a.m. at that point. And they had kept the plane there uh, in Montreal. They wanted, they weren't sure, but they're going to keep it overnight. They weren't sure if I was coming or not. And I just, I asked my dad, what do you want me to do? And I said, that your mom would want you to play. So go play. So I'm like, all right. So the next day I just, I was the first guy at the rink. I think it was like four o'clock, two thirty, four o'clock by the time I got there. And I was kind of numb. Like, I mean, through the playoff, I was very numb, um, you know, but, um, you know, I knew it was, I knew it was, it was hard on me, uh, but the hockey helped my whole family cope with the situation. I know it was hard on my teammates just to be around me because they felt so sad for me. Uh, but, you know, when I got, when the, uh, the, the players start rolling in, everybody, you know, hugged me one at a time. And, and I, I just told them, let's just get after it, boys. And I knew we'd win game five. I just knew emotionally we would win game five. You know, and, and it happened that game six was on Mother's Day. So yes. we had a lot of momentum and, and things on our side, just the, the emotion wise, you know, we were charged emotionally. Uh, I mean, that building on mother's day was unbelievable. Oh. Uh, you know, and, and I mean, obviously game seven can go either way. We found a way. Uh, uh, that was a pretty special series to, to come back. Then you beat the Montreal Canadians, um, you know, being from suburban Montreal. And, and I, I was talking to Mark again, Mark Stahl about this last night. He played a game for the Red Wings in Dallas. And, and I told him, like, I'm very, I'm very close with Justin Williams and he's very proud of Justin. He's has so many of the same characteristics of you. Um, I, I really thought that that LA series could have gone either way especially the first two games yeah. you guys hit a ton of posts. Do you agree? I mean, I know that yeah. people no, only remember the winner, yeah. but I really feel strongly. Yeah. It's a five game series, but there's three overtime loss. Yeah. You know, um, Hey, they, they want it, but it was a lot closer than a five game series, yeah. you know, but the crazy, the crazy part about Montreal too is, uh, I was trying to plan my mom's funeral and I was kind of waiting on the schedule. And Montreal was down 3-2 to Boston. And they came back and beat Boston in seven. So I was able to schedule the funeral. And obviously, if, if we were in Boston, my team probably wouldn't have been there. You know, a couple, you know, couple teammates, maybe. I don't know. But because it was in Montreal, the whole, my whole team was at my mom's funeral. And we planned it in between, uh, you know, before game one. I think, yeah, before game one. And, uh, you know, I did the eulogy in French and English. 
um, you know, and and my teammate, they didn't, they didn't, they, they got to know me pretty quick, right? Because I got traded there at the deadline, so they got to know me pretty quick because that was what I was going through, uh, and I got to know them too. So we got a lot close, very close, pretty quickly because of it. Uh, but the fact that they were there and upstairs in that church, uh, it meant the world to me. You know, and we went and we beat Montreal in Montreal. Those two games, we played tremendous, you know, and we were just writing that, you know, that emotional charge that we've had, you know, we, such a, 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 a tragic moment. And we just emotionally were charged up to, to just make it right, you know, and, um, and I was great to be part of it, you know, scoring an, an overtime goal at NSG on game four. Yeah, game four. You know, it was a 2-1 series at that point. So we go 2-2 back to Montreal is different than going up there 3-1. Mm -hmm. uh, but just scoring that goal at NSG against Montreal, you know, obviously the team that I idolized growing up, um, it was special, like the, the roof. I mean, it was so loud. It, it just, you know, obviously I, I, I got traded from Tampa for, you know, for a few first round picks. Um, I felt like I, I was validating the move at that time, you know, and, and there's a lot of pressure to, as a player, you get traded for not just Callahan, but a first round, like you, you know, you want to, you want to deliver, you know, and um, I know I, we didn't win the cup. We came close. And even the next year, we, I mean, we were the, the best team in the league regular season. And uh, mm -hmm. we, um, we lost the conference final to a very good Tampa team. Yeah. So um, in seven. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I'm glad that I got to experience uh, uh, something different. And, and, you know, I was in Tampa for so long. I'm glad that I finished my career and got to do something different and, and get uncomfortable.